What he got on the oh. Hello ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough New Toys LLC. I'm your host Uncle Nur and welcome to another exciting episode of Busted Open. Busted it open since 2007 and today we are going to review Hasbro's G.I. Joe Classified, G.I. Joe Craig Rock and Roll McConnell. Oh my goodness. Now Rock and Roll was another one of the original G um, original Joes, Wave 1 Joes that I absolutely loved. I always loved the fact that he had the bandolier around his chest and everything like that and just the name Rock and Roll just fit it just just fit him or whatever the case may be he was the original heavy machine gunner before a roadblock came around again that's what i remember as a kid i don't know what the theory is now or what the new storyline or lore is now but i remember rock and roll being the first heavy machine gunner before they even had the swivel um bicep area or the swivel elbow now over here there comes in a different package and i don't have the bio to give you but up up here i will leave the original bio of gi joe wave one that i grew up with now again things may be different now things may be completely different but this is the gi joe that i grew up on and this was rock and roll's bio so over here we have this beautiful package right here and again this is the new thing that they're doing right now by putting them in boxes and stuff a lot of people would rather see their figures me myself i would rather see them too like uh let's well, say like these like you know i don't know why they went away from that but then again they said they were being eco friendly and yes it's a different size box as well smaller so on and so forth but yeah, it has a beautiful product image on the front. Let's bring this closer so you guys can see. It has a beautiful product image of Rock and Roll on the front right there. You see Rock and Roll, beautiful art image of him. G.I. Joe Classified, G.I. Joe Craig, Rock and Roll McConnell, the star, Hasbro right there. The weapons and accessories within the box. G.I. Joe up at the top with some graphics. Over here it says Plastic Free, 4 Plus Packaging, and you see Warning Choking Hazards. On the side here you have a barcode and so on and so forth. Now here's the thing. Remember before they had the G.I. Joe website where so you can go there and read their bios and stuff i can't seem to find it now maybe i'm not looking in the right place i typed in gi joe.com everything and it sends me straight to hasbro fun and play or something like that again maybe i'm doing something wrong over here at the top it says 71 you have a beautiful product image of gi joe 6.4 oh they actually give you the right inches too so maybe i don't have to tell you but i'll still show you with the tape measure and you see the other accessories the product images you see the deco that they did right here no bio or anything, but you got the legal mumbo jumbo going on there. Along the bottom, you have some more legal mumbo jumbo. Here's the barcode right there. Classic free in different languages over here. He is number 71. Loving that box art on him right here. Everything, I think that's it for the box. Got some stripes over here. And that is it. So what we're going to do now, we're going to bust open a package and see if G.I. Joe Craig Rock and Roll McConnell is worth the scratch. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. And here we have Rock and Roll outside of the package looking absolutely amazing. And it came with these instructions right here. I guess, you know, little pamphlet or whatever to let you know what it is or whatever the case may be. But he is looking absolutely beautiful right here. Um, as usual, we're going to go over the accessories first, okay? So we are going to start with this beautiful, I mean, beautiful helmet right here, man. I couldn't stop looking at this. I'm loving the detail on it. It looks very, very good. Pouches on the, pouches sculpted on the back. Nice little mechanisms and radios going on on the side. Modernized military helmet, but lit with a classic look to it, man. I am loving this. You can see he took with a Sharpie and put hang tin on it because rock and roll is a rocker dude. He's also a beach bum, so on and so forth. 
Uh, this is looking really, really good right here. Let me bring this a little bit closer so you guys can really see it. They did a, an amazing job on this. An amazing job on this. Look at this. Sculpting all along, but it's done in a soft plastic, as you can see. Not a hard plastic or anything like that, but it's still very nice. Beautiful sculpted in detail. Great paint and everything along the outside of the helmet inside of the helmet is pretty much like you know hollow or whatever the case may be but i love the strap that they sculpted on here again done in a nice soft vinyl then you have this awesome walkie talkie right here which is looking good and i mean like look it looks kind of cool right got the numbers on there sculpted in brown and brown and green paint again done in a soft vinyl i don't know why they're going with so much vinyl right here but all the soft plastic right here but um it is what it is you know Right here, you be the judge has a peg on the back right there. Great sculpting along in here with great detail. Then you have these alternate hands right here. You have the devil horns hands with the guitar. I mean, with a with a um, deco of a tattoo in it. Looks really, really good, like a Joker smile or something like that. Great sculpting in the fingers. Peg on the bottom. Peg on the bottom so that you can plug it in and out real quick. Um, hands aren't painted, it's cast in this, but the deco of the tattoo on his back of his hand is painted on. Looks really good. Then you have a fist right here, same color as the other hands, cast in a nice flesh tone color right here. Peg on the back. Then you have the canister to the M60. Hopefully that's the M60. Well, I gotta stop um, mentioning the weapons names because last time they banged my channel for promoting weapons and stuff like that. So yeah, some people they hit, some people they don't has pegs all along it right here so that you can hook it onto the M60 right here. And since we're at it, this is done, now this is done in a nice hard plastic right here. But since we're at it, we're gonna go into the M60 right here. I'm a bit disappointed with this because it's very, very soft. Look, this thing is like rubber. I don't know why they went this route, um, but they did. Like, I'm telling you, look, look at this. I can, the, the weapons are like rubber. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe it, the cut cost, or I don't know, but I don't. I didn't expect the weapons to be this soft and pliable, or whatever the case may be. But it's great sculpting in it, nonetheless. It is beautiful sculpting along the rifle, as you can see. Beautiful sculpting, but the stand is just so it's so weak. They're like it barely stands up, you know. But it's it's cool, you know. A little disappointed that the weapons look. They're rubbery. They're very rubbery. I don't know why they did that, but yeah. But again, it's great sculpting. Then you have the pistol here. Now, the pistol is done in a nice solid solid hard plastic right here. You can see the extended mag right there looking real good. Great sculpting in this pistol. You even see some textures along the handle right there. So yeah, they did a... Is it a hole in the front? Yes, nice hole in the front as well. Then you have the long band of bullets right here. Then a nice soft vinyl, as you can see right there, but great paint along it right here. And you have the short one right here. I guess that can go to the canister. We'll find out later on though. But yeah, those are the accessories right there and they're looking absolutely wonderful. But what we're gonna do now, you know what we're about to do. We're about to get into the man right here. We gotta get into the man. And this is rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. First, let's look at that face sculpt. Face sculpt is looking very good. I love the way they put wash in his hair eyes are very nice and even loving the beard now at first i didn't think i was going to like the um, rock and roll with the white and green t-shirt but i am loving this i am loving this right here i would like to get a rock and roll in the solid g1 uniform but this is beautiful got the bandolier going across his chest right here look at these tats right here ink work is looking good his sleeves are looking serious man whoever did his tat work did a great job got tattoo in the middle over here that says mom as you can see right there Got some, got some nefarious stuff going on on the bicep right there and on the forearm, boy. They did a great job with this, man. Great job. Nice pouches, nice utility belt right here. Canteen on the back, pouches on the back. Uh, everything is looking good. Leg straps look good. Gun holster looks good. You can fit this thing right in here, just, to, just so. And it fits nice and snug, too. Nice and snug. Great knee pads on this guy. The boots are great. Nice wrinkles and textures in the pants. Everything is looking good on this guy right here, man. Loving the, the sweater collar that they got going on him. The bullets don't look like they don't belong. They're not really, they're not sagging or anything like that, which is real, real good. What I'm loving though is the deco of these tattoos. They look great, man. And yes, it, it I love the one they put on his arm right here that says, mom, 
if you look right here there's a skull inside of there everything yeah man everything and if you look over here on the forearm he has like a pretty much a bullet gauntlet or a um a wrist bandolier or something like that tattoos on this hand because that's the devil horn hand that you can swap out and i could do that for you right now so you can see what it looks like and it looks pretty good look at this you can bend it up you can bend you can bend it upward so you can be like yeah looks you know what he's saying I, I bet you he listens to rat round and round yeah i love that mandolier six cent you, you know if you wanted to sit up on this leg that was me pushing it down but if you wanted to sit up on this leg just take a little crazy glue to it or whatever the case may be and latch in it will stay permanently but i'm loving these knee pads the textures in the pants everything looks good on this guy from top to bottom on the bottom, you can see some holes on there. Minimal treads along the sides, whatever the case may be, but it's still nice. You got straps along the boots and everything like that. They did a great job on this guy. I love the covering they have in the front. I find them more and more leaning towards that G1 look of the G.I. Joe boots where it just had like two squares on the front, like it was possibly held on by Velcro or whatever the case may be. See, they did it right here, if you look. That's kind of like harkening the classic G.I. Joe right there, which I think is great. I love that. I love the classic way that they're going but with G.I. Joe, but at the same token, modernizing it and so on and so forth. He is a great figure, a beautiful figure. Nice side profile right there. How does the helmet look on that head, boy? Oh, yeah. He actually looks like somebody from Aliens, man. Look at this. This looks good. This looks real good. This looks real good. Now, as far as articulation goes, you can get the head to go all the way around. You can get a nice range of motion with the arm right here. Goes all the way up. Can go around as well. Whatever's on this side is on this side as well. Double hinge elbow, as you can see right there. Twisting and pivoting in the wrist right there. Oh, almost broke this off. Pulling it up. Oh, no, I didn't. Twisting at the waist. Nice ab crunch, as you can see. Look at that nice. Nice bend. Nice bend right there, boy. Nice leg split right there. Double hinge knee right there, as you can see. A lot of people get nervous because they be like, why you be doing your figures like that? Because you'll find out if it's worth it or not. If it breaks, then you know not to buy this thing. Twisting at the calf, ankle rocker as well. But yeah, this guy is very, very nice. Tilted the side too, as you can see. So this guy has done very, very well. Tons of detail on him. Nice sculpting. Let's see where these accessories go. Now he has a hole on the back back here, right? has a hole on the back back here i think this is where the walkie talkie would go i think no has to be because no walkie talkie goes on your back unless you break it well the walkie talkie won't go in maybe this goes in there yeah now this fit on here the things are popping out. Oh, okay. Maybe this goes inside of here like this. No, I don't think so. Because it wouldn't have that plug right there. I don't know what. No, I don't think it goes like that. No. I think that it may go. Let me see. Did I line this up correctly? Oh, okay. Let me line this up. There we go. We got to line that up. I was wondering why. Because the walkie-talkie should fit into his belt. Pretty snug. Right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, you got to line it up. It's possibly a hole. Let me see. No, it's not. It's not a hole. So I'm guessing... You just plug it in there and hope. See, that's what happens when you're using like this rubbery stuff, man. Because it's it's not fitting in correctly. But then again, there it is. Okay, so yeah, you just got to pull it up a bit and then plug it into there. Now, you can take the M60, right? Now, I'm loving these bandolier around his wrist right here. This looks really, really good. Because as you can see, it's done in nice, a nice gold paint along with the browns right here. Put this gun into his hand. And the gun fits in really nice, as you can see right there. Boop, 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 boop. You can fold these up, fold up the stands right there. Boop, 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 boop. 
He looks real good. Look at that boy. Yeah, to hell with you, boy. When's the last time you ate some of your own stew? Yeah, this looks really, really nice. And you can take the bandolier, the, the ammo belt, stick it through here, right? Get that nice little... This one right here, I think this goes right in here. The so the short belt, right? Goes in this canister right here. And you can plug that onto the side. I think you can plug this onto the side right here inside. You see like there's two holes right here if you look real good. Plug this into the side right there. The so. And there, I think I have, well, all right, no, this spins around. All right. So give it a realistic look. I see what they're doing. They have a short belt and a long belt to give it a more realistic look like it's being fed through right there. And there you go. You can fit both. You just got to maneuver it a bit. And there you have rock and roll looking ready for battle with the devil horns and everything like that. He looks good. So, I mean, this guy is really nice. Really nice. Loving the deco on him and everything like that. So what we're going to do, we are going to, he's over here. We're going to give him a spin and we'll be right back with my final thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. So as a whole, I think rock and roll is absolutely beautiful. Do I have some issues with them? Absolutely. Because the route that they're going with, with the plastic, I'm not digging this at all. It's like some rubbery plastic that they're giving, that they're not only giving the weapons to, they're making some of the figures with too. He is coming in at about six. What are you guys seeing? I'm seeing six and a half right there. Six and a half inches right there. He looks great. He looks great. He doesn't feel cheap, but it's just a, when you get him in hand, you'll see what I'm talking about. As you can see, the weapon is warped right there. So I will more than likely be using something like this on him. That I get, you know, like a third party weapon or something, even though I know this is not his signature weapon, I think he would look great with it. Or either I'll look to see if they have some, um, some, um, 112 scale weaponry or M60 or whatever the case may be. Great detail, great sculpting. Love the deco that they have going on his arm right there. The sleeve, the tattoo sleeve, because I wear, I have tattoos myself. I absolutely love tattoos. Um, he's a beautiful guy. This guy, they, the face sculpt knocks it out of the park, man. Knocks it out of the park. They did a great job. Loving the helmet. He looks like somebody that could be hanging with the aliens, Marines or something like that, man. They did a great job on rock and roll. I didn't think I was going to like this figure when I first when I first saw them announce it. Because, again, their product images that they do sometimes just aren't really good. They're not. They just look stubby. I'd rather see, like, the regular figure instead of the prototype or the 3D images because they look stubby and stupid. But over here, he looks very, very nice. And inside the package, he came with this nice little, even though they're no longer doing the plastic open face or whatever the case may be, the window boxes, they, they came with this right here. So it's kind of cool if you might want to keep it or use it as storage or whatever. I'm not going to keep it because my action figures stay out of the box, boy. You already know. Here he is next to, let's see, mm, so you can get a size comparison here he is next to my boy he man he man you know he man towers over he's a seven incher 
here he is next to some a uh let's see yeah let's put him next to a naughty viper as you can see fits in scale very well as you can see let me bring that over there so you guys can see looks really good looks really really good with the naughty viper here he is next to terror hawk head dumpy face muffin head dumpling brother falcon now i did not review this figure because it is just absolutely horrendous to me I mean, there's so many problems that I have with Falcon. We'll talk about him. Possibly I'll do a live show about it. I already have two heads that I'm going to swap out with him. And yes, I know this video is about rock and roll, but this, 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 this is horrible. This is horrible. And yes, he's, his weapon is made out, out of that rubbery plastic stuff, as you can see right there. It just, you know, it just, it's just rubbery. He feels rubbery. Look, look, he's rubbery and stuff stuff like that so like hasbro you got to get it together man like look look this it's just it just doesn't feel like a quality figure you know what i'm saying and i like falcon falcon's one of my favorites but i wasn't impressed with this i was very disappointed with it very disappointed with it. i don't know why they went with that face sculpt though but um well let's see who else can we compare him to let's compare him to mm, let's compare him to hey what are you doing here david nora I can't even see what you're doing again. You got the action figures all in the house. That's why you're not taking pictures anymore. I told you about having all these different figures. In. Hi, guy. Man, did you know that he pays rent and he doesn't tell the landlord he does action figure reviews and stuff like that? But he's laid on the rent and then he's very, you're all going to end up gone except for me. He'll keep me. He's had me so long, but he'll keep me, but he'll get rid of you. That was David Nora. As you know, he doesn't like new action figures in here so you know that was i don't know i don't know it's a beautiful figure but i just feel as though the material and this gun is what i mean like come on this is his signature thing rock and roll signature thing right here is to have that machine gun you see but it's just rubbery look at this look at this this is bad this is not good at all like come on you can give us better better quality weapons than that i mean I guess they did it to save. I don't know. Especially if you're charging a higher price point, you need to give us better weapons in there. This is ridiculous. Look, look. So, ladies and gentlemen, that brings this review to a close. Let me know what you think. Minus the weapon and some of the ways that, like, the accessories that he came with, they're perfect. Like, I love the helmet. I love the little sidearm he came with. But I am a bit disappointed in this weapon right here. I'm very disappointed. This is rock and roll signature weapon. And it's just, like, I don't know why they're doing this rubbery thing with it like that. I don't understand. But um, as a whole, I do like the figure. I would not tell you not to get the figure. But you might be. I want you to know that the weapon... It's warped. Look at it. It's rubbery. It's not like this one right here. This one I got from a third party. You know, I got from a third party. So I might roll with this one for a while until I get another one to replace this and just either sell this or put it somewhere. I don't know. But they need to do something with these weapons because this right here, like especially the stand, look. Rubber. All rubber. Rubber. Like, like rubber. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that brings this review to a close. Please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, check out my action figure, my, my video game reviews on, um, or at video game gameplays on Tough Nerd Toys Gaming on YouTube and Twitch. Follow me over there, you know, trying to get that channel up, especially the one on YouTube. I got shorts over there, everything. There's shorts on here. Also, we have tiers that if you want to subscribe to, they're down below.